And welcome to my video tutorial on how to properly rig your TF2 characters in Motion Builder. First thing we're going to do is go to File, FBX Plugin Import, and import our character from Maya. And then we want to set him to the T stance before we rig him. So to begin doing that, we're going to go up to Display, set it to X-Ray Mode so we can see the bones, and then just copy the settings that I do. So we're going to go up to the left upper arm, activate our rotation tool, and set the X rotation to 0, Y to 0, and Z to 90. We go, go over to the other arm, set X to 180, Y to 0, and Z to 0. Oh no, Z to minus 90. There we go. <coughs> then we'll select the uh, left lower arm, just zero out the X value, go to the other arm, set X to 180, yeah that looks good, then we go to the thighs, left thigh, and zero these values out, left lower leg, and zero them out, and right thigh, so minus 80, minus 180, y0, zero, z0, zero. same for the lower leg, and then we want to select our feet, activate the side viewport, and then just lower them down so they're pretty level, okay that looks good, now we can rig him, so what you want to do is download the file which is in the description of the video, and then go to your asset browser, right click it, go add favorite path, then you want to browse to the path where you saved your file, I just have it on the clipboard to the sake of simplicity, <coughs> then go to, it will appear what folder you added, so just open it, then uh, the file you downloaded should be here. Click it, drag it into the scene. This pops up. Go FBX import, uh, FBX merge, no animation. Then you'll see down here in your navigator we now have a character. So open this, and by default it's called medic. So click your medic, drag it onto the character. Then this pops up. Click characterize, and hit biped. Then double click your character in the asset browser, click the character definition tab, and then here where it says control rig, hit create and FKIK. And then it's there you go, it's rigged and you can do whatever you want with it. If you want to rename your character, just right click where it says medic and then hit rename. Just call it spy. So now we can animate him and it's all good. Also when you're going to export your animation from Motion Builder to Maya you want to plot your character and to do that you just simply uh, go to your character settings, plot character and hit skeleton. Make sure smart plot is checked and hit plot. And then there you go, you'll animate properly in Maya.